Hello everyone and welcome back to week 25. So as you can see we still have my medium campagna and my freely noted from Planner Monkey Girl. So I will do a little flip. As always if you have any questions or want to know where anything is from just leave me a message, uh, a comment down below and I will try my best to answer you as soon as I can. So in the pockets I still have sticky notes here and some pictures some stickers in here and an invitation. This cute little card here on the front with an ollie clip and then my dashboards and pictures are still the same. I have my brain dump section which I just use these rose and mist inserts for that. And then on the back I just have a couple of pictures. I did take some of my section covers out like the back pages just because I didn't really want them so I've just popped some pictures on there I have my dashboard with more pictures in and then my notes section is still here again I took the back page off as well so I've just got the little photo clipped on there this next section is lists I have gone back and forth whether I want to remove um, these covers as well but I have just left them in for the time being so I just have my all my lists there and then I have, do have the back cover on that one then I have my home section so I've got a little overview here and then my cleaning tracker here and then a task manager these are from paper test designs and then the next section this is from Royal Planner. This here is from Pippi Plans, but I believe it was from Mibi Shop, maybe. Sticky notes, and then my bills section. So I use the bill tracker from Peanuts Planico, an online order sheet, and then I have a spending tracker as well. And I also use this fold out here from Paper Test Designs as a daily spending tracker. Then my calendar section. I have added all in all my tabs in again. So I just have the overview, my memory sheet, and then my monthlies, which are from Paper Test Designs. And like I said, I've added all my monthly tabs in. I was using this um, bookmark here for my uh, monthlies, but I did move that to a different section so I've just got my tabs back I might add another back bookmark um, I want to try find a file effects one so I might add that one into my monthly section just to make it a little bit easier this vellum is from my shop these sticky notes are Lauren Phelps designs and then my weekly plan so I was using these from paper test designs but I found that when I was using the freely noted I was having a I had a week overview um, and a little to-do list in here so I was finding that I didn't need this section here so I did switch to a different weekly again by paper test but it is this one um, so I've got a week here and then a week here this is from Filofax I did just pop a little to-do list on here as well because I keep going back and forth whether I want to use this notebook or not. So I will show you um, in a second. So I've got a few of those in there. And then my daily section is back in. So I did pop these daily inserts back in from Marcia Bramucci. You can see that when I was in my notebook last week, I didn't use them. But this week I have used them a little bit. Then some more pictures, acetate, and this is my work section. So I have um, shop ideas, shop goals, trackers, um, habit trackers, ideas pages, expense sheets, and then random notes pages at the bottom. And I mark which one I'm on using this little tab here from cloth and paper. And it's just stylogy paper that I scribble notes down on that. 
again my dashboard and then I added back in the menu and workouts just to kind of keep track a little bit more to get a weekly view because I do have my workouts here on a monthly overview but I like that I can write little notes on this one as well so I've popped a few of those back in and then at the back of those I also have a mood log um, I don't know whether I'm going to add some sort of section cover or a tab or something for those I'm not too sure then I also added in this weekly tracker from Peanuts Panico so it's got three weeks on one page which I really liked and again just to get a overview of the week so in these paper test designs I was creating a little tracker down here so this is kind of just replacing that then I also printed out this tracker from Peanuts Planico and on here I am going to track, you can see here, so it's like my shop income, expenses, profits, Instagram followers, I could do YouTube followers, but anything that I want to keep an eye on monthly, I can just use here and that's for the whole year. There, on a fold out, I still have this habit tracker here and the same dashboard too then my wellness stuff I have the self-discovery sheets at the front and then I added these journal pages from Peanuts Panico so the idea was to do these in the morning and I just added them yesterday but I didn't do it this morning um, so I don't know how that's going to fit in but I really wanted to try them out so I have added a few there Next I have my daily gratitude sheets here which is still going well and then just some self care stuff and then my workout tracker here and I need to catch up on steps again and then I have the last six months of the year there too. Next is my journal section so that's just a little section there it's more for um, journal prompts and things. I do have an actual separate journal that I do try and write in every night um, but this one is always with me. And then lastly is health stuff. So I've got my health logs here, body measurements, the same sort of stuff, cycle trackers and then some workout notes at the back. My kids section and our doggy is the last bit that I went over last flip and then a dashboard and here I just have a couple of inserts that I want to add in so I've got some health logs that I want to add in to my kids sections and then I just printed this little um, like routines page really from May Paper Co and it's their mama bundle so you get a daily schedule so this I thought it would be nice to kind of block out just a rough day of how my ideal day would go and then on the back we have some routines for every day and then we have daily monthly quarterly and yearly routines here so I'm going to add that in as well again just the same sort of stuff in my pockets and the freely noted book I do really love this book it's such a lovely size and really is great quality so the first pages didn't change that much so I have a weekly overview here and then these daily pages were last week and I really enjoyed using them you see at the weekends I don't use them as much but it's still nice to write my to-do list and then some things uh, some small wins and a little affirmation at the bottom so this was this week and this is the day that I actually planned twice. So I had a daily page in my rings and in here. Just while I was kind of figuring out what I wanted to do. Today's Wednesday and I have not put a daily page in here. I don't know if I will but the option is there. The rest is just all blank and then I do have all my stickers in the back as well. I did think about transitioning this to more of a shop notebook so I can have it open on my desk and just scribble down things as they came to me because I do definitely still want to use it and who knows I might go back 
and start daily planning in here again next week. So we will see. Um, that is everything. And if you enjoyed this, please think about subscribing to my channel and helping it grow. And I shall see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.